It's been a while since I used and listened to the PD-70 and the really smooth tone that it has to offer, and it's really great to get back into listening to it right now. And the reason why I'm listening to it is because it's going up against the ZDM-1 by Zoom, and we're going to figure out if a microphone, half the price, if that's even possible for budget microphones, can sound just as good or if it's on par with something else in that same genre or ecosystem of the budget broadcast microphones. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin and in this video we're going to be having a battle between two budget broadcast microphones. Seems to be a reoccurring thing on this channel, but I love this concept and I love to inform you guys on very affordable microphones for your content. The PD-70, the ZDM-1, Zoom, Personas going up against each other and we're going to figure out which tone is for you. Not necessarily which one is better, we could possibly figure out which one is better in certain sections, but we're going to figure out which one is for you. And before we get started, hit the like button. It'd be really appreciative and it really helps this channel, helps this video. If you want to help me out, if you like what I'm doing around here, hit the like button, subscribe if you like what's going on here, and I stream on the weekends, so keep an eye out for that as well. Now the first thing we're going to get into is the builds of these microphones. The Personas is certainly built a little more heavy and the Zoom is a little, feels a little cheaper. Uh, as far as like build and feel, I go towards the Personas a uh, probably a significant amount more because it is more sturdy you feel it in the body itself it has a nice construction it feels really nice the zdm one on the other hand it's just it feels like it was just built cheap and i'm not saying that in the sense of how it sounds i'm saying it in the sense of how it's built personas definitely has that it, ha it is a little bit back heavy, but that doesn't affect it when it's on a stand or a boom arm like the PSA-1 or the uh, Blue Compass. They both are great for this microphone. You don't have to have a, any alterations you got to make. It is just fine. On the other hand, we have the ZDM-1, which requires a shock mount. I will drill this home to you guys every video that this microphone is in because it sucks at rejecting handling noise. It's just a lot of handling noise. Now, to be fair, the Personas is not great at rejecting noise. Let's you let's do a little bit of a handling of these microphones and see what you think. Just simple handling. This is with the shock mount, so keep that in mind. I can't put a shock mount on this. So if you plan on moving these microphones a lot, maybe consider going in a different direction. But if you can hold yourself back from moving it around, for me, I move the microphone sometimes especially when i'm streaming if i'm in a booth i'm not moving the microphone the microphone's going to stay where it is because i know how to perform into it and i know how to set myself up in front of it and if i set it up properly i don't have to move it but if i'm streaming or if i'm like moving around with a uh, video or whatever i will move around the microphone so depending on the application that you're putting it in will determine if this is for you now obviously like the builds like the aesthetics don't buy a microphone based on those things. You can work around not moving it. You can work around not touching it. The tone is what you're looking for, especially when it comes to these budget microphones. You're saving a lot of money when it comes to your audio. And in my opinion, the tones outweigh some of those uh, shortcomings of the rejection of noise when handling them. So to finish up the builds, I gotta say the Personas is definitely better. Now, next up, the techie talk section of the video where we talk about the innards and how these things are internally and technically, techie talk. So here's a graphic, I'm gonna give you all the specs and stuff. I'm not gonna talk about all of them, just gonna point out some of the major ones. So as far as these specs are concerned, the sensitivity is pretty on par with each other. A little bit different here and there. You got 50, negative 54 on the zoom and negative 56 on the PD-70. Pretty much the same thing. 
not that crazy. Now, the other thing that's important and probably the most important comparison between these two is their polar pattern and basically how it picks up sound. Supercardioid and cardioid. As I've said before in other videos, cardioid's a little bit more inflated, looks like a heart shape, a little more chunky on the... a little more thick. The supercardioid, on the other hand, is a little more honed in and a little more tucked in but has a bit of a byproduct of a pickup in the back. But we'll get into that when we do the off-axis rejection in this room and the untreated room. Okay, so the last thing in Techie Talk is the frequency response curve. And if you've been here before, you can say it with me. The frequency response curve is the most important thing about a microphone because it shows how the microphone was tuned. I should make a t-shirt. So we're going to get into the lows, the mids, and the highs. We're not going to go low mids and high mids. We're just going to go straight regular just three sections just make it simple you obviously can go a little bit deeper but if you want to know anything specific if you want my uh, elaboration a little bit more ask me down in the comments or just hop on my stream so starting off with the lows you see that they both have a natural roll off the pd 70s a little more bumpy and a little bit more steep but not that big of a deal the zoom zdm1 is less steep but it's more steady it's more clean uh I haven't really noticed anything crazy with it. With the low end tones, you notice that the uh, ZDM1 does have a little bit more presence in that low end, but that's because it has this big pop screen on, which you need, or you need something like a uh, SE Electronics uh, metal mesh one like this kind of thing. If you want to go without the windscreen, but it will change the tone. Let's do an example. So now that the windscreen is off, this is what you're going to hear. You're going to get more of those high ends. You're not muffling. You're not muting any of those tones that are up there. Now, if you look at the chart, you see that there's a lot of presence in the high end, but we're not into that just yet. We're going to get into that in just a sec. But this is what you're going to hear. Focus on that low end. It's not as pronounced as if when I put on the windscreen because it's not increasing those lows. It's just dampening the highs, which makes your ears think that they're higher. So you're hearing less of one and the same amount of the other, but it's in your ears the way that they uh, distinguish sounds. It's just making it, making it sound like it's louder, but it's really just dampening the other, which in turn makes the other one higher. So as far as the lows are concerned, I prefer the PD-70. Uh, only because it's a little more steep and I can uh, not work as hard as if I was trying to take away some rumbles or something like that. If you're in the booth, it really is less of a factor, but I prefer this sound, this on the chart, not necessarily the sound. We'll get into the specifics of the sound in the booth. Moving on to the mids, you see that they're both fairly flat and we're going from about 100 to about, I don't know, 1K. Let's say that's about your mids, give or take. And you notice that the ZDM1 is very flat. And lastly, the highs, which as you can see here, there's a big presence boost in both of these. Uh, you have a big curve in the ZDM1 and you have some steady increases and peaks and valleys with the Personas. But for the most part, I feel that the Personas is more smooth. The ZDM1 can be a bit harsh with the pop screen, windscreen. It's dampened, but I I don't know what it is. It's just the best way I could explain it is the Personas is much more smooth with its sound, which is ironic because when you look at it on a chart, it looks so bumpy on the Personas but and more smooth on the ZDM1, which is why I'm thinking it's a bit suspect, but that's just my little tinfoil hat speaking so obviously the zdm1 is pretty straightforward the uh personas as i was saying is a little more bumpy a little more peaks and valleys a little extra tuned maybe uh but for the most part i really like the sound of the personas being smooth and the reason why i say this is because i feel like it's easily manipulated meaning that you can manipulate the sound a little easier and kind of mold it into the sound you want a little easier than the ZDM-1. 
not to take away from the ZDM-1, the ZDM-1 naturally sounds pretty good, which obviously we'll get into the booth and get a better accurate representation of it. This is a mildly treated room, nothing crazy, but it's pretty good. So now we are done with the Techie Talk. We are done with the builds. We're going to get into a noise test and some off-ax rejection. We're going to do a noise test right now. I do have my laptop fan on right now. It's not that loud, but it's a little loud. I'll boost this stuff up in post and let you know in the corner. All right, so there wasn't much noise going on, no, no walking upstairs, no nothing like that, but uh, you may have noticed some fan of the laptop and a dehumidifier in the other room. Just other things that are going on, maybe something relatable to you. Last thing, off-axis rejection in the studio. There will be an off-axis rejection test in the untreated room, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so we're going to do a rejection test. Obviously, I'm standing up now because it's easier to move around the microphones without having to bust my chops on it. So, we have supercardioid, we have cardioid. So, that's going to be a major factor when it comes to uh, understanding the rejection of noise. Mildly treated room, the Rebel Tech Studio. Hopefully, eventually bigger one day. I know. So, what we're going to do is right up here, we're about two, three inches away back up a bit 90s and 180 so let's get into it obviously i've been speaking two three inches into the microphone this is what you're going to hear with your proper distance of these microphones a dynamic microphone you're going to be one you're going to want to be right up on it so just understand that and your microphone should be cocked a little to the side to brush off some of those plosives but we'll get into some of that in the booth backing up this is what you're going to hear about two, maybe even, yeah, about two feet away. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. This is what it's going to sound like. Maybe some reflections off the walls. Uh, maybe some echo, but probably not that much. It's not that big of a room to give you that much of an echo. Next up, stage left. And this is what it's going to be like with your off-axis rejection. Remember, super cardioid and cardioid. The supercardioid probably has a little more rejection, but there is a sweet spot, 120 to 135 degrees around this area. We're gonna move right over that way. Got some stepping upstairs. We're about in that sweet spot for the ZDM-1 and the supercardioid, so this is gonna be your off-axis rejection in that spot. And you probably notice a little more rejection on the personas as well, so keep, let me know down in the comments what you think. We're gonna do the opposite side now. Now on stage right, on the persona side, we're about about a foot, maybe two feet away from the personas and a little further away from the ZDM-1. This is going to be the off-axis rejection. Moving into the sweet spot, that 120 to 135 degree spot, and the sweet spot of the supercardioid, that's tough, uh, supercardioid polar pattern, about like two feet away from the rears of the microphones obviously the capsule is probably more further forward and your super cardioid on the zdm1 here maybe has some pickup you have a cardioid over here which should have a lot more rejection but we're gonna find out in post and you guys let me know down in the comments what you think all right so let's get into the booth and we'll do a plosive test we'll do some tonal tests and with and without the windscreens and stuff like that so we're gonna get into all that right now okay so we're in the booth right now with the zdm1 and the personas obviously this is the video with both of them so we're listening to the zdm1 right now and you got that nice low presence there and um i notice a lot of uh like well-rounded broadcast sound now of course that's with the provided windscreen if i take that off you notice that it's a little more airy and it's not as um uh broadcasty it might sound a little bit too much treble too much air but the way that we're going to test this right now is with the windscreen on because you have it and it sounds better that way, at least in my opinion. As we spoke about in the frequency response, that extra boost in the high ends is the reason why uh, it sounds airy right now. But add on that apparatus 
and it takes away a little bit of the harshness up there, which is, in my theory, my opinion and theory, is the reason why they made the windscreen the way that it is. Switching over to the PD-70, I noticed that it's it's a little more well-rounded. And of course, it doesn't have that buzz, and I still don't know if it's my microphone or if it's uh, a manufacturing issue. Uh, I'm not. A, I haven't gotten in contact with Zoom, and I don't know if I ever will. Who knows? Maybe one day. But uh, I noticed there was there's a buzz in mine at least. Uh, I have a feeling that it's just mine. Uh, but that's another time, another video when I get more information. So back to the Personas, this thing sounds nice. It's nice and well-rounded. It has a hint of low end, but it's not so harsh on the top end. So if I take the windscreen off, you notice that that airiness is not as um, harsh, even without the windscreen. The windscreen is not that thick, so it shouldn't affect it that much. Popping it back on, You've noticed that it doesn't affect it that much. But the thing is, the presence boosts in the Personas are not as harsh as the presence boost in the ZDM1. And I don't know why they tuned it that way. It's very just simple, easy. I love the midsection of the ZDM1, but the problem is that high end is just a little too high. But to compensate for that, you put on the windscreen. So now let's do a plosive test and we'll see how they reject plosives. First up, we're going nude. We're going with the nude mics right now. All right, ZDM1. Got that little bit of boing. Personas. A little more deadened. You notice that uh, with that diaphragm in there, it's a little bit more insulated maybe there's a little bit more like padding around the diaphragm so could be a reason why that is that way uh, I actually like the way they presented this it's really nice and it's very well built so now with the provided windscreens for both of them ZDM1 yeah it disperses all of that Personas Yeah, it disperses it. Uh, as far as like the windscreens are concerned, because you have the enforced uh, diaphragm, I, I'm assuming it is. It's not in the in any of the paperwork or anything like that, but it looks like it is. And this one, the way it is, they're pretty much the same. I give an upper hand to the Personas because it is without the uh, pop screen. It is a little bit better, but they're about the same with the pop screen. So it's kind of a wash on that. Next up, we're going to do the SE Electronics. Okay, ZDM1. Yeah, I love this thing. Personas. Yeah. Now, as far as the tone, let's get into the tone of these microphones and see which one I prefer. I've listened to them a lot lately. Uh, the Personas took a little bit of a backseat in my listening, but I had the ZDM1 for a while now and did some videos on it. And proceeding to do videos on it and I'm noticing that it has that nice presence it has that nice broadcast presence uh, switching over to the personas it's got a little bit less of a body and if we're talking about I'm not a wine drinker but I, I know that people talk about wine as a full-bodied wine like it's got some like the ups and downs, the tartness and the sweetness, the combinations of it all. Uh, same thing with sound. You got your lows, mids, and your highs. But here's the thing. You want those mids to be nice and smooth, which you have here at the Personas. You have that on the ZDM1. So they're pretty much the same in that regard. But the presence boosts on the ZDM1 are a little bit more harsh, at least in the high ends. In the low ends, I feel like they're pretty much on par, maybe a little bit more presence in the low end on the ZDM1 than the Personas, but I like the smoothness of the Z of the Personas. It's so nice and it's it's very smooth. I, I the best way I could put it is it's smooth. And if you need a little bit more on the back end, you could always go use some EQ. I come back to the sound because I can't I can't really put a lot against these microphones just because they have handling noise if you don't touch it it sounds great in which case the personas is my choice 
But if you're a person that moves the microphone along, moves the microphone around, the, ah, that's a tongue twister, moves the microphone around a lot, you should go with the ZDM1 with the shock mount. I say that in bold capitals, exclamation points. And as far as the tone, I'm going with the personas, but that's only in specific scenarios. And I really enjoy the sound of the um, personas a little bit better because I like the smooth sound. It's This is a tough one for me. It, when it comes to uh, microphones that I've covered, the pod mic is the, I don't want to say lesser, it's less my style and less my pre- preference of sound. With this, I prefer the personas and I think that the ZDM1 is a close second to the personas. Now we're talking budget microphones, budget broadcast microphones. And in that field, the personas I feel is the strongest one so far. And maybe one day I'll cover more within that field and maybe something will change my mind. But right now, the personas is my choice for sound. Again, rejecting noise, maybe the ZDM1 is a little bit better. Consider all these things and don't just take my opinion for it. Watch other videos, get other sources, and do your research. You just don't, when you're in school, when you're doing research for a paper or something or homework, just don't take one source. Trying to find the most credible sources. I might not be the most credible source, but there are plenty of other people at my level and better that cover this microphone. Uh, uh, the podcast's channel and. Uh, What's it called? Boot Junkie, uh, Mike Delgadio. He covered this microphone as well. So let's get out of this booth. It's too hot in here. All right, so we're in the untreated room, PD-70, ZDM-1. This might be a little redundant because uh, wearing the same shirt. Didn't feel like changing my shirt. Doing all these untreated room tests all at once, so I apologize if it's a little bit jarring, but who cares? You're here for the noise. You're not here for my attire. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do off axis. I'm going to go back a couple, like a feet, like a foot or two, uh, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. And then we're going to do some noise tests, natural noise, what's going on in the room and a, uh, test with the fan talking and not talking and test with the air conditioner high and low talking, not talking. Okay. I'm about a foot away, maybe a foot and a half away. And this is going to be the test with, uh, Something a little further away than normal. These are dynamic microphones, so you should be using them in close proximity. But this is an example of what it would sound like if I'm further away. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using the microphone like this unless you're in a pinch. Uh, I don't see why you would use it like this. <laughs> it's not the right microphone. There are plenty of other microphones you can get that can work uh, from a distance a little bit better. All right, 90 degree test, ZDM one side, stage left. This is going to be your off-axis rejection. Remember, ca- supercardioid and cardioid are the difference in polar patterns, and this is where you're going to notice some of the differences between the two. Uh, there's a little bit of reflective surfaces on the opposite wall, but there's the hallway, as I've said before, that could be echoey, but not too bad. It's, it's so many twists and turns that it might not be that bad. Now let's go to the sweet spot, 120 to 135 degrees, and this is going to be your off-axis rejection for there. Uh, this is more so for the super cardioid, but you probably notice some less rejection, less uh, noise from me, my noise, <laughs> and the cardioid of the PD-70. Losing my mind. All right, off-axis rejection, 90 degrees, stage right. This is going to be what it's going to sound like on the PD-70 side. More reflective surfaces on that side, so this is what you're going to hear. Uh, 120 to 135 degrees. So this is going to be about three feet away. 120, 135 degrees from both the microphones, maybe a little more to the ZDM1, and this is going to be off X rejection, probably a lot more than uh, before on the ZDM1, and still on the PD70 as well. Finally, last, about a foot away from the rears of the microphone, 180 degree test, you might get some reflection off the walls, uh, not sure yet, but uh, certainly not off the floor because there is an area rug. Uh, there is a uh, wood floor as well, but maybe not that much reflection okay lastly we're gonna do our uh test of noise rejection all right now we're gonna turn on the fan
Okay, fans on. This is going to be the mix between the two, my voice and the fan going. Uh, possibly something that you may need to may deal with personally. Uh, that off-axis rejection for the uh, ZDM1 might be a little bit better because it's a ceiling fan. It might be uh, rejecting a little better than the Personas, but you let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, so the air conditioner is on low, the low fan, not the cools function. And I turned the microphones a little bit to have a little bit more of a fair comparison, but it's not going to be perfect. So I apologize, but that's just the way it is right now. All right, so... Air conditioner is on full bore, and this is the mix between my talking and the air conditioner. It's probably not that great. I noticed that it was going up to about, let's see. Yeah, you get in about 40 decibels of that, even from this distance, about three feet away. So you're probably going to get some reflection off the walls, too. So just not an ideal situation if you want to stay cool and use a microphone. Good luck doing it because uh, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. You get a shield, try to do your best, but you're still going to get the rumbles and noise. There's only so much you can do. So a lot of people just sweat it out. And that's it. That's the Personas PD-70 and the Zoom ZDM-1. As you have probably guessed, the Personas is my preferred microphone not to say anything against the zoom zdm1 it's a great price it has a nice tone nice broadcast tone i still don't know why it has that buzz in it but uh like i said it's probably just mine and not anyone else's because i've watched a bunch of videos on it and no one else has mentioned this problem so maybe i'll bust the thing open one day and see if i can figure out if it's like a ground issue or something related to that so thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. It helps this channel, helps this video get out to more people and uh, really builds this community that we have here. And speaking of building a community, consider subscribing because it's really cool to have more people that are interested in tech gear to uh, talk about this stuff and really have a nice conversation about it. And of course, speaking of conversations down in the comments section, if you have any questions or comments, please just ask them there. Uh, you can hop in my stream on the weekends. I just hang out, play video games, do some dot to dot art and all that stuff. And of course, until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, go, whoa, bada, bleh, clap sync. <laughs>